what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we are talking about conditional statement in sql server and uh, we will also talk about a uh, loop in this video so let us begin so i can use this query to demonstrate my if else statement first let me declare some variables so at math int at physics and at chemistry so uh, basically th these variables are for the uh, marking of these subjects so uh, if i want to set these variable i can use the set statement and let me set the marks to 80 after this uh, i can declare an if statement so simple simply type if and then the very the condition which is if maths marks are less than 50 then print you failed in math so basically i have this one liner code for the uh, if statement so it is not required but if i had a multiple statement within my if statement i would have used begin and end so between this goes the if code so now an else statement if the marks are not below 50 then you passed and i will copy and paste these statements three times and change the at math to now uh, i have pressed f5 so you can see that i have passed in all three subjects if i change this marks to 40 then execute you can see that you failed in math so uh, each condition is running on, on its own because i have this uh, if else pairs so likewise i can also declare an else if statement so i can do else if at math marks is equals to zero then print you did not attempted math exam so if i put zero here and i have to put to this condition at first and the and this condition uh, as as my second condition then if i execute it says you did not attempt the math exam so i have put the marks to zero if i put marks above zero then the else if statement will run and it says that you have failed in math so this is how if else statement works i can also put an if statement over here saying that and uh, another thing is that uh, putting brackets in if or else if statement is optional so i can put brackets too so i can say that if math has greater or equals to 50 marks and at physics also has greater or equals to 50 marks and chemistry also has greater or equals to 50 marks then begin and end i can declare a variable called percentage float it it will be a float type variable and set at percentage equals to and then print i will use the concat functions because it's so uh, my first string is at percentage now if i run this it is not showing me the percentage because i have failed in maths exam if i change the marks over here to let's say 90 and then run this query it, it is now showing my percentage 
so these are the stuff that you can do with the if else statements these if else statement are used very often uh, in the procedures or uh, triggers that we will cover in the uh, upcoming videos so in this query i will give an example of while loop but i can say that the while loop is not so much used in our uh, database but it is there to help us when we need it so uh, first let me select the table so the student table first i will declare some variables so declare now I have to select the count of how many students are there uh, in this student's table. So star from the student's table. Then I want to get uh, all the information of uh, uh, the, uh, how many rows I have in this count variable. So I will come over here at count equals to this statement then i will use my while loop and the condition is at at i should be less than or equals to at count begin end now inside here i can select the student's name which will be equals to the name column the name column in this student's table but i will fetch the students record one by one so where id equals to at i so the id will be fetched according to the uh, iteration number that is currently running and the uh, i will be uh, incremented each time so uh, equals to uh, at i plus one so this is how you increment in sql server we don't have the plus plus operator here now uh, uh, there is a problem the uh, i start from zero uh, but here the id starts from one so uh, i what i can do is uh, at i equals to one so now the i will start from one and uh, our condition is uh, also according to the uh, thing that the i should be equals to one that's why we have put this equals symbol so our loop will run according to the count it receives so what i want to do with this loop is i want to print the name of the student having even ids so the 2 4 6 8 and 10 so what i can do is i can put a if statement and i will say that if at i modulus 2 equals to 0 so what the modulus uh, does is so the modulus operator works like this let's say we have an i having the value of 6 so the 6 goes inside and uh, we are to divide it with 2 so we will divide it uh, 2 times 3 is 6 so the remainder is 0 and uh, this is the this is our answer so i modulus 2 is equals to 0 when the i was equals to 6 so it denotes that 6 is an even number so 6 is an even number now with an odd number if i choose 5 then 5 goes here 2 goes here and 2 2 times 2 is 4 And now we have the remainder of 1. So this denotes that i is an odd number. So the names of students whose IDs are even. So I can print and i can use the concatenation function again with at i and space 
and then add student's name so i have not put the begin and end uh, keyword because this is a one liner statement so when i run this in the messages the print uh, statement goes in the messages tab so uh, we have the uh, names of even numbers of student and if i change this to one then we will get the students with odd number of ids so press execute and you can see that odd num uh, students having the odd IDs. So this is how the while loop works in the uh, SQL server. And again, we can put the brackets if we want, but it's not necessary. So this is all for the video. If you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.